Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's work on finding specific heat. And in particular, we're going to work on finding Q or the heat or the energy change. I like to use this triangle. Q represents heat or energy change. You may see it either way. Uh, in this box, you have mass, mass times specific heat. And then this is change in temperature. I like this triangle because if you need change in temperature, you just divide Q by M times C. Okay? And but in remember in this video, we're only focusing on Q. Okay. It says a 75 gram sample of steel is heated from 20 degrees to 215 degrees. If the specific heat of steel is 4,495 ten thousandths joule per gram per centimeters, what is the energy change? So we are looking for the energy change which is Q. So I'm just going to write it Q equals, and now we just fill in what we need. First, we need mass, and it says it's 75 grams, and we need to make sure we're careful with our units. And then the specific heat is 4,495 ten thousandths, so we're going to write 0.4495, and remember, it's joules over grams times centimeters uh, uh, Celsius, and then we're going to have the we need a change in temperature so it's 215 it goes from 20 to 215 and i know that's a change of 195 degrees celsius so now we're just ready to multiply but we need to cancel units because remember joules is on top here grams and um, celsius is on the bottom so these grams are going to cancel the c's will cancel and we're left with joules okay so now let's use our trusty calculator okay and we're going to go 75 times 0.4495 times 195 and that equals 6573 and i'm going to round it to 94 hundredths and don't forget your unit of measure is joules so in summary, all we did was we just multiplied the mass times the specific heat times, times the change in temperature. And that's what we got, 6,573 and 94 hundredths joules. Let's work another example. Now, this sample question, they have it worded slightly different, but we're looking for the same thing. How much heat is required to raise the temperature of 55 grams of ethyl alcohol from 20 degrees to 90 degrees Celsius, yes, that's a little c, if the specific heat of ethyl alcohol is 2 and 4,194 ten thousandths. So, let's see what we got. Okay, heat, we want to know how much heat is required. That is Q. So I'm going to go Q. And then remember, we just plug in, we have 55 grams and then we have a specific heat of 2.4194. Remember, it's joules over. That's a terrible J, by the way. GC times. And it looks like the change in temperature was from 20 to 90 positively. So that is 70, and that is Celsius. It's very important you remember, make sure you keep your units in so you can cancel them. J is on top. These are on the bottom. G is over 1, so these are going to cancel, these will cancel, and again, we're left with joules. Now we use our trusty calculator. We're going to go 55 times 2.4194 times 70, and that looks like we get 9,314 and 69 hundredths, okay, and it is in joules don't forget your unit of measure okay and that is a little messy now uh, i'll have some other videos where i'll calculate the change in temperature and find mass but for this one we just focused on q i hope that is helpful thanks for watching and remember kindness multiplies kindness be kind to someone today